Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. I am working in Affinity Designer and would like to show you how easy it is to create flowers like these. All that's needed are simple shapes and symbols. Let's start with a circle, convert it to curves so we can modify the nodes. We pull one node down and then we create a symbol from this one. The symbol allows us to make changes to one of the petals and it will change all of them. We rotate them, bring it in place. It doesn't matter if the size is not right in the beginning. If they are too big or too small, it doesn't matter. You can fix that instantly by changing one of the petals. It doesn't matter which symbol you change. As long as you change the symbol, all the copies of the symbol will be changed doesn't matter if it's the shape, the color, the gradient, even if you place a clip inside the object, it will be taken to all other copies of this symbol. Even if I had a shape on top of the initial shape that we created as a symbol, as long as I'm working inside the symbol, it will be part of this symbol. So I can place additional shapes on top can create lines, even use effects on them. Everything that you can normally do, you can do inside the symbol. So just adding a little bit of a shading to the petals. I can use effects or adjustment layers. It all works just like the normal vectors, except it is duplicated across all of your copies. The one thing that causes a problem in this setup though is the overlap. Objects within a symbol are below the symbol above it in the layer panel. So if I move the ball inside you can see how they are hidden behind the symbol that is in front of them. You can always place elements outside the symbol that make up the design. So in this case, I'll just duplicate a few of the balls and place them on top of all my symbols rather than inside one of the symbols. If you go in and duplicate the flower, say you want a different color and you go in and create a duplicate, we're facing another problem because this duplicate has the same symbols as our original. So if I go in and change the color, say to a blue, we have a blue flower, but so is our initial design. One way around it is to give the whole group of my symbols, an adjustment layer. And I go in and say, I give it a different color by moving the UE shift. Some variations look okay. It depends on the color combinations we choose. If we take out the little pollen in the center, it's a lot easier. If you want to work with adjustment layers, keep in mind that one color for your flower petals works best. A shading to white or black still works, just don't mix another color in. Play around with the possibilities. You don't just have to do the petals, also other elements can be done as symbols. In this case the pollen is a symbol as well that is duplicated. You can take a symbol even though the copies will be changed when I change the symbol, but if I just change the size of the symbol, it'll just change this one and it won't affect the others. So you can make some wider and narrow and if I add, for example, shading in between the petals, I still give, get some depth to the flower and end up with some really nice designs really quickly. Play around with it, have fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like and I'll see you again soon.